Hello, my name is Shallow, and this is Chex Quest 3. Uh, this is the third installment of Chex Quest, a surprise to everyone. It came out in 2008. Uh, this episode is not affiliated, actually, with the Chex company at all. It was never released as a promotion of any kind. It has nothing to do with uh, Chex. It was made by the same guy, uh, the lead artist, I believe, behind the first two games. Now working independently, in 2008 released Chex Quest 3. Uh, this is also when he touched up the first two episodes and made this brand new third one. Let's get started. Invasion! After the trouble we suffered last time around, I've removed killable flemoids. I've learned my lesson. We're just gonna zorch him home from now on. <laughs> yep, Blue King, all right. Listen to this dramatic music. Oh, damn. This is like a Mega Man level. Ooh. Oh, look at Chek's NASA over here. <laughs> the Intergalactic Federation of Serials Central Command. Oh, this is great. 2008, so, you know, what we now consider to be kind of early in, in Doom modding, but far enough along that we had Z-Doom-based ports. We, uh... We were living in a post-Duke Nukem world, so these more realistic settings were becoming more and more common. Get out of here! Whoop! There goes all the ammo. Alright. <laughs> I guess we're gonna spoon this last guy. Yeah, get forked! Or spooned. <laughs> there we go. Interesting. Stairs for one, elevator for the other. At least one of the command centers is wheelchair accessible. Ooh, is this a button? No. Okay, that's nothing. Uh, this episode of Chex Quest did win a CAC award in 2008. Which is pretty neat, so uh, that means we're double dipping this time. <laughs> We're playing a pretty well-known mod and a CAG Award winner. I, I do like to do both, so here we are. Doing both. Man, all these intruder alerts. <laughs> they evacuated the entire place. Uh, I'm sure there's a text file or something that comes with a story for this one. I'm not... I'm not entirely certain. I haven't seen anything like that. But, uh... I don't know. This Chex Quest. Don't, don't worry about it. It's not... It's not a big deal. Look at this! Is this like a, uh... That's a misaligned texture. Not a secret, though. Just... Just a texture that's offset by one pixel. Oh, here's another one. Interesting. Oh, it's the textures with the galaxy. Up on top. For some reason, that one's shifted down a pixel. Alright, weird. It's like a, uh... What do you call it? Like a planetarium in there. I don't think I've ever been to a planetarium like that in real life. Uh, I've been to one countless times in video games. <laughs> There's one in New Vegas. Oh, it's a little window we hop out of. Cool. I think Fallout 4 has one, doesn't it? Doesn't Nuka World have a uh, planetarium? Uh, Duke 3D's got one, I think. Yeah, never seen anything like that in real life. I'm certain it exists, otherwise people wouldn't keep doing it. Just not anywhere I've ever lived. Is this uh, where we had the press conference about the the Flemoids? Oh, it totally is. This is the room from the uh, cutscene from Chex Quest 1. 
Oh, can we go back here? Ooh, that's such a cool secret. Oh, with the curtain just kind of split open. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, that's the uh, flemoid asteroid there. Somebody brought their snacks with them in case they got hungry mid-speech. <laughs> Can you imagine that? It would be so dope if like halfway through the State of the Union, Joe Biden pulls out a full cauliflower, just a raw cauliflower and like three carrots. <laughs> just starts munching away <laughs> mid-speech. <laughs> like a just like a like a horse just raw carrots which again I will remind you is a very weird breakfast food that is allegedly what we're fighting for here healthy breakfasts fruits yeah I kind of get that you can have a fruit salad for breakfast Ooh. Ooh, this is cool. <gasps> yeah, we're really going nuts with the Z-Doom stuff now. We got colored lighting. Those night vision goggles? Yeah! <laughs> For once, I kind of don't hate Z-Doom's green night vision. Kind of works with the, uh... Flemoids. Oh no, my night vision counter is broken. <laughs> so here's something weird that happened with uh, when I was updating the old status bar here. I didn't originally have a full font. I just had the characters that I needed for the the old Doom version. But when I went and added the new ammo types for Chex Quest, I needed new letters, so I just, you know, bit the bullet and made a full font. Um, and for some reason, that completely broke the font. All the spacing was all messed up. Uh, it turns out what Z-Doom's font uh, lump does is if it doesn't have the letter N in it, it sets a default spacing between all the letters to... Uh, four. And then because it does some internal math, it sets it to half of that later, so it's two. Uh, if you do have the letter N, it'll take the, the, the width of the N character, half it, and then use that as the spacing. I didn't previously have an N. In fact, I'm pretty sure I ran into a bug where the spacing was all messed up, and instead of using the letter N, I, I used the number one. <laughs> Which is why in the night vision goggles you just see VG in there now. It's because I replaced the one with an N. I have a proper N now. But I used to, on the back end, that NVG for night vision goggles, it was... In the code, I had it set as one VG. And then had the, the one character point to the letter N, the graphic for the letter N. Because for some reason, when I set up a full font and I do include a letter N, the spacing gets all messed up. I have my letter N set up correctly. It's four pixels wide. Taking half of that, it should <laughs> internally set the spacing to two, which is what I need. But for some reason, for some reason, if I don't give it a letter N, it does it correctly. If I do give it a letter N, it messes it up. Anyway, I have a letter N now. I had to go and manually set the spacing to two pixels on every single text string. Because I can't fix that bug. If I ever do fix that bug, I'll... Oh, that would be great. But I guess I must have forgot to go back and replace that one VG for the night vision goggles with a proper NVG. And because I've replaced the, the, the one with an N now, I no longer have a one in my font. <laughs> so where I used to have that one VG, it now can't display a one character. It's just, it's just VG now. Anyway, 
that's a long rambling way to uh, say <laughs> cheesy doom as an engine is over a decade worth of other engines in a trench coat <laughs> complete with all their bugs and weirdnesses and sometimes fairly well documented sometimes not this is why I have so much respect for anyone who makes these full GZ Doom games is because the crap you got to put up with in the GZ Doom engine is <laughs> ridiculous. Not that I don't appreciate it. The people who develop GZ Doom are doing it for free and have been doing it for a long time. I definitely respect that. And they do make the decisions they make for a reason. It's not arbitrary. Or what some people seem to believe malicious, it's certainly not that. <laughs> what do I have now? Blue key. Did I open anything else with that switch? I have no idea. I want that red key. Take that. I like this outdoor garden area. A map I was working on recently had something similar going on. It, uh, this is great. I might, I might steal some of this. <laughs> I wasn't entirely happy with how my garden was turning out. That is lovely. I like the, the leafy bushy textures. Let me see those again. Yeah, look at those. Uh, Strife has some really good bushy textures. That's what I've been using. Might steal some checks textures, just, just for variety. Oh, here we go. Did I just never go through the blue door? Maybe not. This is the problem when you're trying to talk and play at the same time. <laughs> Anytime you record or stream a game, you just instantly lose like 10 IQ points. Hey, look at you. New enemy, we got a Cacodemon. Oh, that's so cool. I love that this guy came back to Chex Quest 10 years later. Made not only a new episode, but brand new textures and enemies. And they all still fit in. It's great. Even Doom 2 had a little bit of trouble with that. Some of the Doom 2 enemies definitely have their own look. They all still kind of fit together, but you can tell a Doom 2 enemy from a Doom 1 enemy pretty well, I think. There's a lot less hand-drawn stuff, a lot more model references. And I guess you can tell the, the Czech stuff apart. It's not like his art didn't improve over all these years, it certainly did. But they all mesh together still. It's great. I love these little phones. Those weren't in the previous episodes. Those are new. Those will fit in well with some of the Beta Doom uh, office texture stuff. Cool. All right. I don't. I don't want to be back here yet. I don't have the key. <laughs> the checks won. I love that Chex Quest went for like a weird 50s bubble helmets and bright colored space jumpsuits sort of sci-fi. <laughs> That's such a weird choice for, for the 90s. As far as I remember, the 90s were not all that into nostalgia. That's a weird texture, that doesn't... I don't think that's supposed to be there. If you've ever seen the uh, the Lost in Space movie they made back then. <laughs> uh, 
I'm not going to lie, I kind of like it in a weird way, but it's objectively not a good movie. And uh, certainly if you're a fan of the original Lost in Space show, it's, it's a real slap in the face. It's a lot like the, um, the 2000s X-Men movie, where you can tell watching that movie that somebody... Somebody at the studio was very embarrassed to be making a superhero movie, so they demanded edgy black leather on everybody instead of superhero costumes. That's kind of what the Lost in Space 90s movie is like. You can't make it too fun. It's got to be brooding and dark and Gary Oldman is in it. And <laughs> the Lost in Space TV show is one of those that I think has held up quite well, actually. There's a... I'm sure the same will be true of TV made today. There's very little that survives the test of time. Lost in Space, I think, is still pretty good. The old Twilight Zone with Rod Sterling is pretty good. Chex Metro. Oh, shit. We're getting Metro Chexual in here. What is that? United Cereals? <laughs> It's the, it's the breakfast UN. Oh, it's a, it's a train, yes! Oh. All right, you had really cool seat textures for the movie theater level. You probably could have used some of those here. Instead, this looks like a cargo train. Oh, here we go. This is better. Oh, it's moving. We've left the station. That's so cool. I mean, it isn't actually moving. I'm right. Can you still open this? No. So the illusion is intact. Cool. Get off of my train. Get out of my train stations. I should play back to Saturn X. I'm sorry, BTSX. Don't sue me. Oh, that's the end. Okay. I thought there was another train car. <laughs> that's cool. You love to see a good train level. Let's see if this will start off at a train station. That would be really cool. Yes, it does. Excellent. <gasps> Ooh, and we've got new enemies. Are they just, uh, they're just demons, yeah. Ooh, they are tough. Ooh. All right. I did kind of wonder if, uh, coming back to Chex Quest 10 years later and making a, uh, an official third episode without marketing it as like a children's game from a serial company. I did wonder if it would be harder. If that meant, you know, the creators would be free to make something a little more targeted at the 2008 Doom players skill level. If maybe we were going to see some proper Mancubuses and Revenants and Arachnatrons. But you know, I don't think so. I think he kept it pretty conservative, just stuck with the uh, regular old Chex Quest gameplay. I think I would have. I would have been impressed with the decision either way. <laughs> I think when you make a good good end product. Something of quality like this. It's easy to justify any decisions you make along the way. <laughs> if this had been a really hard 2008 Doom wad, I would have been like, yeah, of course it is. <laughs> but 
it's it's just an easy Chex Quest style add-on, and I'm still like, yeah, you know, why wouldn't it be? Oh no, they slimed the statue. Ooh. <laughs> I love that uh, Chex Quest 2 took place in a Duke Nukem style modern city, and now we're in, I don't know, this Mediterranean kind of setting? Very interesting choice. From an art perspective, it's certainly a lot more interesting than a bunch of gray square buildings. Oh, I hate that you can't open these doors. Did I just not press that before? No, it's, uh... It's a timed switch. Yeah. Okay. Here it is. All right, no going back, I guess. Nope. There he is. I'm again unsure <laughs> where the Flemoids are getting their technology from. That's great, the sprite uh, statue on top of the sector plinth there. That, that's a really good effect. <laughs> While uh, I was looking for this um, download online, and if you do a Google for Chex Quest, you, you run into a lot of... Um, a lot of stuff, because people, people love Chex Quest. They've uh, built a whole community around it ever since it came out back in the 90s. Uh, there is, of course, an entry on the Doom Wiki for it. And as a result, there's another entry on the <laughs> the bad Doom Wiki, the, the one run by fandom. There's also a separate Chex Quest Wiki which I'm not sure why we needed that, but we we apparently did. It's probably run by fandom as well, if I were to guess. They kind of just spam wikis about anything to make sure they always show up in Google results and they can serve you ads. The Chex Quest wiki is weirdly uh, not helpful. It's got like no information at all on it. So it really, uh, really makes me wonder why we needed that at all. <laughs> this is so cool. Look at all of this. Oh. Vineyards. Look at this courtyard. Oh. The new textures and level updates were nice in the last two episodes. But it's clear that they didn't go as hard as they could have on those. And, you know, that's fine. To some degree, you do want to maintain the look and feel of the originals. And I appreciate that. And this episode, it, it's great. It's like an excuse to just let loose and show off what you can do with, with Z-Doom-based ports now. This is really cool. Chex Quest 2 didn't feel a whole lot like a like a sequel. This does. This is the kind of thing you get when uh when there's real real passion behind the project, not just a corporate mandate. I'd love to know where these midis are from. I'm I'm not sure if uh the same person who made the levels and art also did the midis? That's possible. That seems to happen quite frequently. In the Doom community, you've got people that are talented in multiple disciplines. Can't say for sure, though. I, I, I don't know. I know where you won't find that information, not on the Chex Quest wiki. <laughs> the uh, Doom wiki will probably have it, though. 
they're pretty good about documenting that kind of thing. Hello. Back in the sewers again, eh? Ooh, what do we have here? How do I get in there? Is there another sewer I can go in? How do I go there? the yellow door. Maybe we'll loop back around. Unless, is there a sewer on this side? No. <laughs> Very weird to have this nice villa <laughs> with just an open sewer hanging out right there. Animated skybox, by the way. I haven't mentioned that yet, but that is really neat. Ah, yes, we've got more paintings. Oh, the Chex Vitruvian Man. Ooh, it's a secret. Nice. Oh, the last device. Oh, finally, the Chex BFG. The breakfast fucking gun. Is that a gun that you use to fuck breakfast? No. Maybe. Don't think about it. This is, uh... Plutonia is sort of right on the cusp of having textures and levels that are evocative of locations, but are still so vague they could be anything. There are definitely textures and levels in Plutonia that made me think of uh, architecture like this. You might not have seen it. I, that's entirely just my interpretation of some vague <laughs> textures and level layouts, uh, but it's cool to see a more explicit representation of of this kind of, uh, location. I see the red door down there. I just want to check out this. Spork? Not a fork, not a spoon, but something in between. A fapoon. <laughs> what will you think of next, Germany? Oh, that's my pistol. I do kind of wish the uh, mini Zorcher and the uh, the large Zorcher looked a little different. I don't spend a lot of time staring right at the gun I'm holding. Usually it's just out the corner of my eye. And I think they are similar enough that I do mix them up from time to time if I... I mean, like I just did. You saw that. Whoop. Yeah, it's all in your foundations. This is this is not good. That's going to affect the resale value for sure. Ah, oh, the the dripping from the ceiling is so good. Ah, here we go. So normally you'd have to risk your health walking through this, but if you find that secret switch, <gasps> what? <sighs> What the hell is that? Woo! Okay. Got him. <laughs> That's like the boss from Strife. It's just a weird Lovecraftian horror. <laughs> that was like an Edgar Allan Poe uh, story going into the basement of this villa and finding a horrible creature living down there. <laughs> uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh! How 
many of you are there? It's like four of them. Okay. Ooh. I was not expecting a hot start from a Chex Quest level. What is this? Shreddy's Provincial Park? <laughs> oh no, they got the trees! <laughs> So it's not even just the fruit trees anymore. They're going after our our pines. Ooh. This is great. The additional uh, monsters in the roster are nice. I haven't had to switch weapons like this <laughs> throughout the rest of Chex Quest. Now suddenly, that's becoming kind of important. Look at this! This is lovely! <gasps> I don't think this is a secret. Hang on, what's this do? What did that do? It's a permanent switch, so whatever it did... not gonna have to hurry to it or anything. Whatever it opened is just open now, I guess. Okay. Uh... Maybe we just go back. I think maybe we just go back. Maybe something back here is open now. Yep. This gate's open. Great. This is another really cool midi. I wonder why you don't hear Chex Quest midis in uh, <laughs> more Doom wads. No secret behind the waterfall? Shame. Maybe you do hear Chex Quest midis all the time, and I just haven't noticed. Ooh, that lowers. Cool. It's a good thing I tried it. I really wasn't sure. Cool. Oh, out of my way, tree. Oh my god, that's a lot of you over there. Um... To try jumping to that waterfall. But if I take this blue door, maybe it'll just go around. If it doesn't, I'll come back here and try to do that jump. Because that might be a secret. Uh, no, I think we're going to loop around. Love these log cabin textures. You know, I thought I would miss the super shotgun. But if you give the player plenty of plasma ammo, and of course the changes to the uh, to the rocket launcher to make it not do splash damage allows the player to use that a little bit more. You don't you don't notice the super shotgun missing quite as much. Anything behind this waterfall? No. Yeah, here it is. This is that jump I wanted to make, so that was unnecessary. Ooh. 
worm. Oh, that's a lot of you. Wow. <laughs> All right. That's going to take too long. How do we lower this? Just push on it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> the slime craters with the asteroids in them are really cool. That's a great bit of sort of visual storytelling. A yellow door. I've seen one of those. Here it is. Another cabin. I keep expecting to find secrets tucked away behind the cabin somewhere, but no, nope, so far no luck. Ooh, grandfather clock. That's, ooh, no, 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 no. Where did you come from? <laughs> you gangly bastard. Yeah, grandfather clock has to be a secret. That's a that's a law. It's kind of remarkable how well you've managed to make just green and gray primarily work. A lot of the time I have trouble identifying enemies if it's a lot of the same color. Very brown maps having imps in them or fleshy maps having pinkies. I sometimes struggle with those. Uh, maybe it's the art style, the high contrast, cartoony outlines. Maybe that's helping. But you'd expect I would have trouble finding these phlegmoids among all the green textures, but I, I haven't had any issue with that at all so far. Okay, that's locked. Anything in the fridges? No. Ooh, the wine cellar. Now it really is Edgar Allan Poe. secret passage somewhere, maybe? Oh, it's probably this door back here. Yeah. Ah! Red key. Okay. <laughs> That's it. That's your red key closet. <laughs> Whoa! I love those caco replacements. Those are fun. What? Ooh. Okay, they're lost souls. Gotcha. Oh. Uh oh, oh, is there a... Is there a phlegmoid pain elemental? There better not be. Just something that poops these things out. Oh, you didn't even... Uh. Most of the uh, Flemoid enemies have lower health than their Doom counterparts. I cannot believe you didn't do that for the Lost Souls. You just gave them full Lost Soul health. <laughs> I don't feel so bad about killing all those Flemoids last time now. <laughs> lost Souls with full health is a war crime. Oh, how many of them are there? Maybe there is a pain elemental. A, a phlegm elemental. I have plenty of ammo for this. I could do this all day. I would rather not, but I could. I guess they're all coming out of that 
giant meteor that's impacted to the middle of the park here. Oh! <laughs> there we go, lots of ammo. Not a secret, oddly enough. That seemed hidden enough to warrant marking it as a secret, but that's just my opinion. No. Oh, where do you keep coming from? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> oh, you can jump. Oh, just that part, I guess. Uh. Oh, they keep coming up from behind me. This is no good. Where does this go? Just around, I guess. Okay. Well, great. Ah, get out of here. <laughs> Below 100 health and armor. That's uh, not happened very often. Stop. Oh, stop. I'm going to get chips to death by these stupid things. There's one more around here somewhere. I know it. No? Maybe not. Could have sworn I saw one more. Oh, look at that. There's a little door there. So are the asteroids the Lemoid spaceships? Are they like uh, Warhammer orcs? Where they just ride asteroids through space? Oh, there we go. So I got to find the low wall that I can jump over. Got it. Oh, here we go. This one just dumps me right onto the floor. Perfect. Into the mothership. <laughs> nice. So do we get to go back into, uh, yeah, Meteor spaceship. Flemoid cave level. Cool. Ooh. Oh, gross. Gross. <laughs> yeah, I've really got to play the Aliens TC again soon. <laughs> this is reminding me a lot of sort of biomechanical fleshy textures in that. What did that do? Something that I can't see yet. Ah. Another great midi. Just, just a lot of bangers in this one. Oh. Okay. We're probably going to be trapped, right? Nope, that switch opens it. Okay. Well. <laughs> I'm not sure how uh, necessary those switches are then. If they're going to open the door that are that's that's right next to it, then you might as well just be able to press on the door, right? Is that? Ooh. Ooh, are these slopes? They are. Oh. We just keep introducing more and more uh, Z Doom features. 
Nah. Oh, the blue phlegm key. Cool. We got phlegm keys now. <laughs> uh, I guess I can just jump off, right? Yep. <laughs> this is, uh... What's that level in the Ocarina of Time where you're inside the whale? That's a little bit what this is like. Ooh. Where did you all come from? <laughs> Why is there a switch that just... reveals phlegmoids? Oh, I didn't even need... A switch for this one? I can just push on it? Okay. Uh, alright. We're just being inconsistent now, I guess. Is this... no? Is that... That's how you do it, okay. I get it, so I need a key to open the key door, and then I have to find the right switch to open the door that's behind the key door. Eh, okay. <laughs> it's a little unnecessarily complicated, but... I can live with it. Oh my god! <laughs> If there were revenants, that is a Plutonia trap right there. <laughs> or chain gunners. Thankfully, the Flemoids have not invented the chain gun just yet. They've mastered interstellar travel. And throwing their goop around, but uh, not firearms, not just yet. Oh, no, 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 no. This level is so fun! This whole episode has been really great! Yellow key, okay. I mean, the other ones were fun. Uh, mainly for the novelty of it, just seeing like this really well-polished, surprisingly successful children's game. Uh, but this one is, like, actually fun gameplay-wise. Not terribly challenging, but that's fine. You don't need that. Yep, that's all the shotgun. Okay. More slopes. Oh, this is a really cool... Just the, the use of these textures every now and then down the hallway as, like, supports. Ooh, it's you again! Ah. <laughs> I went and uh, looked at the killable Flemoids mod. I, I dug into the code for that. They have, in fact, given him, like, six new attacks in that mod. Doubled his speed and doubled his health. <laughs> no wonder I was having a hard time with that. Yep. The last device, woot! Cool. Um, yeah, this is where we want to go. Wow. So many of you. Uh, certain versions of the game Power Slave have extra levels on the end where you go into an alien spaceship. 
and uh, they're a little bit like this as well. It's a, it's a sort of fleshy ant hive in space kind of thing. What? Oh, you can shoot those. Okay. Nothing down there? No? Okay. Red key. Does the button open these doors? It does. There we go. That's the red key. <laughs> this really feels like an epic conclusion to the Shex Quest saga. <laughs> this is really good. Where's the red door? Here we go. Ah, all right. Which one? Gotta be that one, right? Yep. Armor, nice. Haven't been full up on armor in a while. Oop, almost missed that door. Another trap like this. Oh, and this time you did put ranged guys in there. <laughs> this whole level, I've just been smiling the whole time. This is great. Oh my god, look at you! Look at this. This looks like the the boss fight room from uh, Cruelty Squad, doesn't it? Ironic that a uh, game made to sell breakfast cereals would look so much like Cruelty Squad. Maybe not ironic. It would be totally in character if that was an intentional illusion. Ah. Oh, I didn't think that was a teleporter. Hang on. I want to explore this whole level before I kill this guy, because I have a feeling the level's going to end if I do that. Yeah, there's nothing else. Okay. Let's kill him. You are huge. That means you have huge amounts of goo. <laughs> there he goes. With one final blast, you zort Lord Snotfulus back to his own dimension. Against all odds, you have single-handedly foiled the invasion. You truly hope that the Flamoids have finally learned their lesson and will never again return to the serial dimension. But if they do, you know you will be ready for them. Eat, eat your breakfast. If you want to save the the galaxy from aliens, uh, you got to start with a, a healthy breakfast. <laughs> hey, that's Chex Quest. That is a ton of fun. <laughs> I liked that a lot. Uh, Chex Quest one and two were a surprise hit back in the day, and Chex Quest three in two thousand eight, a fantastic follow up to it. I like that a lot. <laughs> uh, link is down in the description below if you want to download Chex Quest 3, which includes the remastered 1 and 2. Uh, I'll also include a link to the... <laughs> there we go, we get that lovely little grin again. Uh, I'll include a link to the mod that restores the cutscene to Chex Quest 1 as well. And uh, I'll throw in the mod for killable flemoids, but, you know, be careful with that one, because it... It has some undocumented changes, as I discovered, unfortunately. Yeah. I'll see you again next time. We'll do some more Goofy Doom stuff.
Until then, eat, eat your peas. You can't have any pudding until you eat your meat.